Hey folks, it's Gerald here from Buzzsprout.com and Gerald's Restoration. Um, how you guys doing tonight? Well, <laughs> guess what? I'm going to give you guys a cool little free lesson here. But it's actually on what Dr. Groovy covered last night. That's right, Johnny Lee and Looking for Love. Looking for Love and all the... Okay, so, but I'm going to show you the rhythm part. Okay, so with the, you know, how you the progressions and uh, you know tell you show you uh, if you're not you know if you don't know this so yeah this is just gonna pick up right where he left off but we're gonna cover the rhythm part and I'm gonna do it on my electric this is my Austin AU 756 blue guy here band the Banshee okay um, so yeah there's only three like it in the world and that and that is a big deal because you can't find these guitars nowhere um, just hard, just, you can't, they, they don't exist, you can't find them on Google, you can search Google, but, uh, you'll only come up with the ones I have, okay, I've got the orange, I've got the orange one, I've got the blue one and the red one, but I don't have the silver one, okay, so the silver one is out there somewhere because I have seen it, I've seen it on eBay, so, uh, yeah, can't buy, find these, but you can always see them right here, right here on my channel, okay, so it's all groovy, um, and I'm going to use a pick, Believe that or not, yeah, I've got a big old. I got about almost. Th I got about 270 picks right now, y'all. So let me just reach in here with my eyes closed. I'm gonna see which kind of pick I got. Hey man, check that out. Check that pick out I got. Cool, huh? This is the one I use, I guess. Now you know that's a little. That's too. Li that's a little too thin for me. So. Well, <laughs> I'll find one one of these days. Where's me a white pick? There we go. There's a nice thick pick. I like about. Oh well, I got a blue one here or something. But hey, this guy here, blue. Okay. So, I'm. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is grab your guitar. You can do this on your electric or your acoustic. I'm gonna do the electric because I decided to break this thing out. Haven't played it in a in a in a coon's age. Okay, the best part about this guitar is, and yes, I love talking about my guitars, and you can fast forward if you don't want to see this stuff. But in the two position, you got the neck pickup and you've got the bridge, so a telly. So very very cool. Um, so. Yep, that's very cool. Now the third position is the neck. The fourth position is both pickups. The fifth position, all the way up, is the middle. <laughs> so go figure. Yeah, real, real, real funky wiring. But and then in, in the middle is your hum. In the back is your humbucker. Okay, it's not no split or anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna be here in the two position. So basically, the song. Starts out like you know with the E with your E minor, and I hope you guys can see me good. Okay, so over here I've got my uh, E minor, and then it's going to go from the E minor to the uh, F sharp F sharp minor, then your G, okay, and then your A, and then back to your E minor, and then to your F sharp minor, and then to your G. And then to your A again, and then back to your G. Actually, if you listen very close, you've got that you've got that G major seven in there. Okay, so it's like looking a lot times Well, hell, I'm screwed that up. Uh, well, hell, I can't even remember the words of it right now. Well, that's crazy. So. Mm, <laughs> well, that sucks. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started here. What we're going to do is uh, just do your regular strumming and uh, put your own flavor on it and uh, have a ball with it. So since uh, Scotty already showed you the, uh, the lead part, we're going to do the rhythm part. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Okay, 
Now, if you don't know that F sharp minor set, F sharp mi minor, I'll show it to you. There's actually a couple of ways that you can do it. Okay, it's bar chord either way, but this right here. So just make a regular F chord. Okay, so just make a regular F chord. Okay, and uh, just go up a half a step, and then just release your middle finger. Okay, and then just keep the shape. Okay, and there's your F sharp minor. Okay, or you can go up here. You can bar the whole entire second fret. Make an E minor, and then just take it up to a whole step, one, two, okay, and then put your index finger on that second fret right here of the second fret, and then so now you've got it on the fourth fret and the uh, on the fourth fret, okay, I'm getting my, <laughs> okay, so just take it all up, two, three, four, okay, so your B and your D, your your D and your A string will be on the fourth fret. Okay, so just like your E minor, where your index and your ring finger are on the uh, where your index, where your ring finger, help your well, just have your two fingers, index, ring finger, middle finger, however you want to do it. Um, on the E, on the B, on the good lord. <laughs> Let's try this again. Bleh. Okay, so just make a regular E minor, and then take it up a whole step. So now your pinky on the third, on the fourth fret of the D string, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and then your in, your index finger comes up here, and he bars the and he bars that second fret. Okay, so there's your F sharp minor. I finally got it out. <laughs> like I said, man, I just. Just dinking around like I always do. Okay, so now from the beginning we've got E minor. And then go to your G. And then your A. And the rhythm part is entirely up to you however you want to do it. I mean, you can strum down and then upstroke three times. You can Okay, so you can downstroke two times and then up once. Okay, however it is that you want to, that's the best part about it is, is you can make it sound like you want to. Okay, there's no rule here. It's about expressing yourself and putting putting your own flavor and putting your own style on the song. But it's a great it's a great song. Uh, okay, so the rhythm part is up to you. Like, so you can stroke down twice, up. Okay, down, down, up, down, up, down. See, however you want to. And then your A. I spent a lifetime searching for. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so we'll take it from the top. And I hope you guys can see me good, man. Um, okay, so from the beginning, we're going to start slow. So we're going to start with your E minor. Okay. And like I said, however many strokes you want to do down, because everybody does rhythm guitar different. Okay, so you start. Or you can do the... Uh, F sharp minor with the uh, like your A, A minor F minor okay so then just bring it up half a step and then just release your middle finger okay so your index so your index finger covering the first three strings second fret okay and then just like make a regular F chord okay So there you go. So check that again. Here we go. Okay, so 
like I said, really it's that G minor 7 that's in there when it starts at the chorus, okay? If you listen very, if you listen very closely, but there's the song, okay? So see, it's real easy. Um, so yeah, so there, there you go for the for those of you guys that wanted to learn this. Very cool. Mm. <laughs> That's right. I'm just uh, given the uh, second phase of this wonderful song. Even though Scott Grove did the intro, um, you guys can uh, now do the rhythm part, okay? Because it sounds good with both. So either. Now, if you want to do the rhythm part, or if you want to do the lead part, and once again, I'll go through this with you real slow. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go E, E minor. F sharp minor, whichever way you want to do it. Okay. G, A, and back to your E minor. F sharp minor, G minor, I mean regular G, <laughs> G major, and then your A. I spent a lifetime searching for you. Okay, so that's pretty much it, y'all. <laughs> so I got it out there finally. Um, Hey, yes, I'm using a pick. And I didn't have any reverb on. By golly, look, what do you think of that, by golly? Um, yeah, I got to, uh, um, um, okay, yeah, I've messed up there. Um, So there you go, um, Johnny Lee looking for love and all, looking for, you know, <laughs> so anyway, it's just a cool flipping song for you guys to learn, for you guys to check out. Like I said, it's not real hard to do, it's just that right there, easy um, rhythm. So you know what, we'll go one more time, that way you guys can, uh, you know, but go back and click that rewind button, that seek bar, so that, uh, you know, you guys get a hang of it. And uh, we will go through it one more time, so here we go. Just for you guys. Okay, we're gonna do it slow. So your E minor, your F sharp, your F sharp minor, I'm sorry. Your G, your A, your A, your E minor, your F sharp minor. same okay so now up to speed so anyway folks there you go a little bit of Johnny Lee Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in all the right places. And by golly, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yep. So, hey man, just wanted to share this with you. So if you guys like it, let me know what you think. Me and my lovely axe here. <laughs> so, hey man, your old buddy Gerald here. I'll talk to you guys on down the road. You guys want some more lessons? Hey man, feel free to give me a holler. We do some petty or whatever. You guys want to do some Clapton? <laughs> hey, um, give me a shout, man. We'll do something even if it ain't right. We'll have we'll have the mo we'll have so much fun. You know, we'll have we'll, we'll we'll have so much fun. This is all the fun you can have with your clothes on. You know, so much fun to have with your clothes on. Okay, you didn't realize you could have this much fun with your clothes on. So, <laughs> so. Mm, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, folks, and be groovy. Your old buddy Gerald here from Buzzsprout.com and Gerald's Restoration. Bye-bye, folks, and enjoy. There you go.